Being able to travel since I was 15 and getting to experience all the different things, uh, the only thing I can say is to know nothing. Like, I go into it going, I know nothing. I know nothing. Because as soon as you think you know everything or even something is a huge wake up call. Traveling with surfboards is one of the worst things that could happen to a human being. You get to the airport, the first thing people say is like, what's in the bag? And then you're like, ha 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 ha. And then the lady that works at the place, or the man, they take your wallet and they shred it. Or they leave, it. I've had them light it on fire and put it through the shredder. Truthfully, when you pack surfboards, I like to put a towel in between or a pair of trunks, keep it simple. Try not to have fins. If you could have uh, future fins or FCS fins, it helps a lot. But basically keeping it light and keeping it as light as the bag can be. So when people stuff a bunch of stuff in there, wetsuits and packaging and bubble wrap and all that stuff, the heavier it gets, the harder they're gonna destroy your boards. So if you can get all your boards together with a couple things and keep it light, they're gonna treat it way, way, way better. Five essentials to bring on a flight. You definitely need cash as number one so you can get around and do anything. You need your passport so you can get on the plane for sure. Your iPod is a necessity because without it we're lost souls. Four would have to be a pillow no matter what. You need a pillow. And five would be the best mindset you can bring to the table because traveling's not easy.